Hi, I just want to show you how to remotely control the FLIR T640 thermal imaging camera using the FLIR app on the Apple iPad. Most of the camera control features are available. Um, focus, focus in, out, and of course autofocus, very useful. We have our auto and manual level and span. At the moment we're on auto, have I changed that to manual? We can adjust our, our levels accordingly. Back to manual. We also have our um, palettes. At the moment we're on rainbow high contrast. We can change that to whichever one we like to use. And back again. Our analysis features are here. Um, Spot, te uh, spot temperature markers, uh, which can be moved around. Uh, the analysis um, measurement is there. We can re we can place a few of these on. There's spot two. Again, move him. These can easily be removed. Finger on there and bin. And again, bin. Our area box. Um, this can be sized, moved. At the moment we have our hot and cold um, markers. Uh, bring up the sub menu. Maximum, minimum and average we can leave on or switch off whichever ones we like. And our markers of course off. Second one. Okay. Finger on. Delete. Delete. Very useful line tool, um, giving us maximum, minimum, and average across this line. This can be moved, and um, we can also bring up a line profile graph across the top there. This can be switched around to go vertically as well as horizontally, and remove. Our camera setup features are here, so we have our thermal camera, our visual camera, thermal fusion, picture in picture. MSX, uh, depending on which features your camera has. Our parameter setup, emissivity, T-reflect, distance, humidity, atmospheric temperature, etc. And our camera details temperature range. This particular camera, minus 40, up to 2000, in whichever field we want to be in. Digital camera lamp on. And various other bits of pieces there. To record movie files we're recording now and to take instant snapshots there. Okay and back to live again. Okay thank you very much.